Hi, this is Gleb Bakhmutov and I want to show you how to check the collected code coverage against a threshold because there are a couple of gotchas. So I have a project where I have collected code coverage using Cypress. So right now there is an NYC output file out the JSON that shows me, hey, you covered like these particular statements so many times and these functions and so on. As you can see, there are a couple of files in this report, app.js, service worker.js, and index.js. So now I want to verify that my code coverage is above certain threshold. I could use npx nyc report with check coverage flag, All right? And it goes into the file and says, okay, you covered everything at 75% and by default, it uses 90 for statements, right? Uh, the problem with this is that if I go inside this file and if I delete everything, right, and accidentally I have an empty file, well, guess what? NYC will happily say, yeah, you're above a threshold. But we know that this is obviously wrong, right? So how do we specify that we need at least some files to be covered or particular file covered? Unfortunately, there is no error for an empty report. And even if I say include, let's say source app.js, right? Like looking for that file, there is still no error. This is why I have written a utility called check coverage. You install it as a dev dependency. And then it has a couple of scripts. One of the scripts is check coverage. So in my file, right? I can say npx check coverage and then I have to specify the name of a file so source app js and it says well there is no such file in the coverage port so let me restore it and let me not again and it says yes found that file in the code coverage report and it uses just the last part of a file name so I might as well just say app right it, it finds the file and by default, it wants 100% code coverage, right? I can say index.js. I, I think I have to specify file by file. And it says, okay, I found the index.js, but not everything was covered there, right? So it's pretty strict. And if the file is not covered or if the coverage isn't complete, then the exit code will be one. So that's a great tool because it doesn't suffer from empty file or oh, everything is good. Another script that's available is only covered. So sometimes you want to make sure that your exclude masks and everything are working and you don't want those extra files in your coverage report. So you can say npx only covered and you can say app.js and index.js. In this case, it fails because in our output file, where is this extra service worker that should have been excluded, right? And it says, okay, I found extra files. So it will exit to one. Now, this is reading from NYC, but Cypress, when it runs, actually uses NYC as a temporary code coverage report. The final thing goes into the coverage. So you can point the tools that I have just shown, not at NYC by default, but say from coverage, coverage, final JSON. In this case, in that file, everything respects the exclude wildcard. So now we, we know that we covered only those files and nothing else. And if we ask for something extra that's not there, it will say, hey, I couldn't find it, so something went wrong. It's a mistake. And one last thing. Cypress generates a JSON summary that we can see right here. This summary file is a JSON file that says how many lines you covered in percentage statements and percentage functions, percentage branches, and so on and so on. And then it goes by file and tells the same information. So we don't know which statement covered, but we have just the summary. 
this JSON file is very convenient for analysis later on, which is just like simple thresholding. In check coverage, you have check total that looks at that file. And that's where you can say, I want at least those that threshold of statements covered. And it only uses the statements, not lines, not function. So we can say check npx, check total, right? And by default, it uses 80, but we can say mean 70%. So our final coverage summary has um, above the threshold. So this is how you check if your end-to-end -end and unit tests together produce enough code coverage for specific files or all together.